They look good. Uh, his stuff was sharp again. Uh, he's running up there 90, 94, 95, I think. Um, you know, he utilizes his, his off-speed stuff well. So uh, that was another impressive outing by him. I think we we are continue to be impressed by, you know, the kind of player he is and, and the mentality he has. So I think he's going to be good for us. It looks really good. Um, obviously, I've, I'm a lot more comfortable with the guys that have caught more over the years. But um, as far as, you know, the new guys coming in, they, they all look good. Um, been been very impressed. So I'm just, uh, I think the one thing I'm most impressed with is the depth. Um, you know, it seems like we have a, a ton of really good guys who can who can fill in in any situation. So it's it's pretty impressive. So right now I'm not not quite feeling where I, I know I need to be at the start of the season in, in terms of at the plate. Um, catching has been a lot more comfortable lately. Uh, last time with Cole was was good from behind the plate. Um, so I think I'm, I'm getting there with that. Um, and the hitting's coming around, you know, it's typically when you're not, when you're not feeling good, when you're trying to get into a rhythm, especially beginning of spring training, you kind of have to tread water until you start to feel good and, and, you know, make better contact. So I think, um, you know, as of, as of right now, I'm, I'm right about where I normally am in spring training and then, you know, a couple of good games and then the numbers start coming around. Is there anything that you changed over in the offseason that maybe you're working on now to and having come around? Uh, no, just, uh, you know, little little tweaks here and there to try to improve, but nothing nothing major. Well, we have a lot of guys. Uh, I, I don't want to speculate who's going to fill what role um, once the season comes around. But I mean, I've been impressed with a whole slew of guys, especially Greeny, um, Loisiga, O'Day looks really good. Uh, I haven't. I don't think I've caught Wilson yet, but I know that, you know, he's going to be somebody important for us. Um, so, you know, I've been, I've been very impressed by a lot of guys. Um, Nelson also. So these, you know, we have a lot of guys who can, who can fill in, in uh, big situations for us. So, I, I mean, it, it sucks to be without Zach um, and we're going to be hoping for a swift return, but I think we have guys who can fill that role. Nelson's a guy that the coaches really like, you know, they talk about him a lot. What kind of stands out about him? He just has, you know, he throws really hard. <laughs> he throws really hard and he's got good secondary stuff and he's got a great mindset. I mean, he's got kind of a bulldog mentality where he's, he's never giving in no matter what. So um, I think, I think that's what really stands out to me. Hey, Kyle, what have you thought of the spring training that Gary Sanchez has had so far? I think it's been unbelievable. Uh, it's, it's really good to see him swinging the bat well again. Um, last year was definitely tough. I know for him and I mean everyone because we all want to see him do well and you, you just never, you never like to see somebody struggle who really has that ability to, to be like, you know, a big time impact player like he is. So um, it's really good to see him getting off to a great start, and, and we all hope that he just continues that through the season. Well, let me see. Does he seem more at ease to you this spring? Yeah, definitely, you know, and especially when you're playing well, I think it, it puts your mind at ease because, it, you know, you have the confidence to, to perform when you go out there, and he, he definitely feels, or to me, like he's in a better place.